few other options you have actually in a live photo and those are accessible here and you can loop it, bounce it, which is kind of like um, boomerang or a long exposure. Now the bounce is a loop, so this is the loop you get. Just going to go over and over, backwards and forwards. So if there was a ball, it would be bouncing up and down. Now things like that, these effects, it will not let you save them as a video. So the only way you could do that would be to go to the record button, record it and get full screen going. Let that record. And there you have it. But are you noticing there's no audio? So it doesn't loop the audio. You could then edit the audio back in in iMovies if you wanted to. But we've now got a live looping video. We can stop that and that's going to save in our folder in a moment. There we go. And so that's a proper video using that loop, but no audio. So all I would do if I want audio is load that into iMovie and load the live photo uh, video into iMovie, this one we've just done, and then you can have the audio over that video if you wanted to. So to do that, I'm going to open iMovie and I'm going to select the two videos I need. One is here, this one. Audio I need. That's the video I've just converted. And then the second one is the loop, the bounce video, which doesn't have the audio. I want to put the audio in it. So now I'm going to press create movie at the bottom of the screen, highlighted in blue. And here we go. So let's just stretch that out. So the first section here, what I need to do is tap on it and then tap on detach audio. I'm going to move that audio across here to the video that I want. Then let's touch the first video which had the audio in that I've removed the audio from and delete that. Delete in the bottom right hand corner. So let's align the audio with the video. I can see iMovie has faded out the sound at the end there. You can see blue line goes downwards. So to sort that out I go to the volume button at the right hand side touch fade and I drag that triangle, this triangle here across so it's going to have sound all the time at full level. Let's touch the action button, the scissors button down below and now we have the option to duplicate the sound. So I'm going to press duplicate, drag that across to the right, place that there and again touch that one, press duplicate, drag that across there. You get the idea. What you may have noticed is before on the video here, before I actually tap the screen to get rid of the menu, we have the menus showing above and below. So I'm just going to go forward until there, that moment we have no nowhere menu showing. So I'm going to just cut that slowly. And then if I delete that, it's going to remove an audio, but I'm just going to put the audio in line there. So now we have the complete clip, if I press play, with the audio, and we can just trim the end there. So we touch the video, pull it to the left, there we go, and then down to the audio, just pull it in line, there you've got it. So there we go, audio and video, and a bounce video. If you wanted it even longer, you could just press duplicate on the video and the audio and have it go on as long as it amused you too. <laughs> the only thing left to do here, of course, is press done. And then the arrow action button at the bottom is going to allow you to save the video. Top of this box, you'll see a blue options text here. If you press options, it will allow you to select the resolution. It's going to automatically save at the highest resolution possible, 1080p. So it will always give you the highest. Here we go, saving, exporting a movie. And there we go. So we've got that done now. We can go to photos and here is the masterpiece itself.